All right, this is a quick tutorial how to install Halo 2 Project Cartographer. So to start off, we're going to need to go to the Discover Store. You're going to install something called Lutris. So right here, install this. It's basically a multi-launcher game client. Then you're going to need to install Proton, these both of these are good, but you'll need Proton QT in case we're missing a dependency. Okay, so uh, once you have that installed, you're gonna go to Games, Lutris, start Lutris up. Then you're gonna go down to Wine and install Wine, and you want to use this version right here, Wine GE. 826 as of the day of this video. Um, once that is set up, it should look like this. And then you're going to click the cogwheel. And this is your global settings when you use, uh, when you set up a game in Wine. So we're going to want to use that version of Wine. You can actually install other versions of Wine if you need. And I will quickly show you that. Under um, Proton Qt. So, in case you need it, all right, here's Lutris. Here are all of those uh, wine versions. If you needed to add one, you can click Add Version. And then, say you're missing like DXVK, right? This is another thing you'll need. You need a newer version, which Lutris already comes with. You can click here and install, and then it'll add it, or you can add uh, various wine uh, versions. So anyways, this is just in case, but you should have everything uh, when you install Lutris. So you want this version, and then the other big thing is the DXVK version. You're going to want to, see it's on this defaulted, put it to the newest one, 2.5.3 or newer. Save it. Once you've done that, click here search, put Halo 2, click here, click the second one, it should look like this, install, keep the defaulted shortcut, continue, um, if you don't have the zip file, just click install, I already have it, so I'm going to just select it so this is faster. See here, here, okay, stall. So, I'm gonna let it do its thing. So, the game is gonna install a few um, requirements because it's an older game. And the other big thing is to avoid the intro. The intro uh, video tends to crash the game. So, this script is going to do something where it'll skip the intro from the get-go. So just make sure not to enable the intro video for the game and otherwise you should be good. So it's going to install a few dependencies, it's going to extract the game, and then you're going to get the um, installer for Halo 2. Okay, anyways, so here's the game installer, click next, scroll down, accept, click next leave this by default, click next, it's fine, click install, let the game install, excellent, so it's done, make sure to uncheck this, do not launch the game from the launcher, just uncheck that, finish, it's done, close, okay, so Halo 2 is going to be here, to make sure that your wine global settings are the same, you can click down here, configure, go to um, runner, so we have the same uh, wine version and that newest DXVK version, so we're good. And you should be able to play, so we'll give it a try here. So you can, uh, you can just skip this message and run. Sweet. 
And one last thing, if you want to add the game to your uh, game mode, so you don't go into desktop and launch Halo 2, just come here, right click on it, it'll say add to Steam, mine says delete, but it'll say add to Steam, so click that, you're good with Lutris, you can go back to game mode. Okay, so once you're in game mode, you can go to your library, go to non-Steam games, and you'll see Halo 2, it's gonna look very basic, like something like this, but um, if you want to add artwork, you gotta have the Decky plugin, it's called Steam uh, Grid DB, and uh, here you'll be able to go to each app like this, click on options, change the artwork, and then you can add whatever you want. And that's basically it, you can launch it from here. And it'll launch the same like you saw before. Somewhere in the game. And um, just to double check stuff, so you can go here to Cryptographer and update it. steps and update to the newest version. And here you can see the intro is disabled, so keep that like that. You can edit extra settings in here. Otherwise, that's it. Enjoy the game, guys. Have a good one.